Paul Bennett at Downey Thunder Creations in Millbridge, Maine. In this video, I'm going to take this frame that I made in a previ previous video. In this canvas, this is just a canvas drop cloth purchased at Harbor Freight, 4 feet by 12 feet, and uh, oh, it's maybe about 14 cents per square foot with a 20% off coupon. And I'm going to take this canvas, I'm going to stretch it onto this frame, I'm going to show you how to do it. Stay tuned. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button and share the video if you will. This helps me build my YouTube channel and it helps me provide more YouTube content and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So I, I rolled out the, uh, the canvas out of the package and what I want is I want enough material, just enough to overlap. This is the back side, it's going to get stapled. And I'm just going to eyeball it on the other side and cut it. Right, right about there. I use some heavy snips because this canvas is all folded up. I just figured it's easier to do it this way. Um, it still has more trimming to do. I didn't want to open the entire roll. I didn't want to unfold everything. So, and I'll have material left over to stretch on another frame or two. I'm cutting several layers at once. I use those heavy snips. Okay, so push that out of the way. And now I can open this up. And now I have enough I have enough material to overlap on each side. I want to do the same thing right here. So again I'm just gonna eyeball it. Say right about there, maybe. I can use lighter scissors this time. And remember, uh, if you had watched my earlier vi video when I made the frame, this side is is beveled in like this. So that's the front of the canvas. That's so the canvas won't touch the frame and create an imprint. So when it's stretched, it won't be touching that. So there we have it. And what I'm going to do is I'm starting at one end. There's no tension on the canvas. Right in the middle at one end. And we'll start out with maybe three. So I have one end stapled. Now I'm going to put some a little bit of tension on there. I'm just going to stretch it. You notice I'm not using uh, canvas stretching pliers because with a frame this small, I really don't need to use them. Now I can put enough tension on there. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put three staples right here on the end. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on the sides. And now I can start working my way. You can see how it looks like there. It's It'll be tightened up a little bit more.
canvas. And now I have to deal with the corners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to fold this in and fold it over. I think I have a lot of a lot more material than I need. So I'm just going to cut some of this excess off. I'm not an expert at this, so you'll have to cut me a little bit of slack, I think, if you will. So I'm just getting it, just trying to tidy up a little bit. It may not be perfect, but So I'm just trying to get those corners to look a little bit better and I think I could have done a better job than that but let's see. Okay so that that's my corner if you can see that I, I think that could have been a little bit tighter. Stuck them here on the ends just to tidy that up a little bit and along the sides here. 